Phoebe is threatening to sell her half of the Glamorama. No, Donna, you went over there yesterday to patch things up. Yeah, I did. I tried, and that's the slap in the face I got for it. Well, then I thought maybe I could buy her out, and then I talked to Mr. Lowe and found out I took a bath in the market. Well, no, well, wait a minute. There may be some way to raise this money. How much is Phoebe asking? Well, that's just it. I have no idea. She won't even mention a price. Just kept talking about selling to the highest bidder. Well, she's got to start with some price. You better find out what it is. You think I should call her? Call her right now. You're going to end up with a stranger for a business partner. Go do You're it. right. You're right. There's no time to lose. Okay, I'm going to go take a shower. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It just hit me all of a sudden, like a bolt out of the blue, that one of the main reasons why you don't want to come back to Pine Valley is the house. What house? Well, your house. Your lovely little home that you and Tom bought just so you could start a family. Aunt Phoebe, I have no more interest in that house. Darling, that's only because Tom is ensconced there with that little tramp. As soon as she's thrown out of there, it'll... Look, nobody is going to throw Donna out of the house. If Tom wants her there, it's strictly his business. No, darling, no, it is not. That house is going to be yours in the divorce settlement. Link will see to it. Aunt Phoebe, the divorce has already been settled. What? You, I, I didn't realize it was even... I got the final papers the other day. A and the house? I let Tom have it. Oh, that is inconceivable. That's utterly unfair. Aunt Phoebe, you... he is paying me for my half, so let's just forget it. All right, then. That's done. That's finished. But my solution makes even more sense, then. The carriage house. Now, you know it's perfectly charming, darling. It's just the right size, and it'll be so convenient for you. And Phoebe, you don't understand. Oh, but I do. Really, Brooke, I do understand. You want your privacy, and you will have it, I swear. I, no one will bother you at That's all. That's not the point. And you'll have all the conveniences, then, of living on an estate with the lovely grounds that darling little Laura can play in, and in the summertime, the swimming pool. And Phoebe, and... it's all very nice. Nice? It's perfect! And, and, and don't forget, darling, you'll have plenty of uh, built-in babysitters nearby. Aunt Phoebe, I appreciate the offer. I really do. But I'm going to have to refuse. I don't want to move back to Pine Valley. Oh, Brooke, you are being very foolish, dear. Really, I mean it. You, you simply must not let this thing that's going on between Tom and Donna keep you away from that's home. That's not it. Look, I, I've told you before, I just want to start a new life for myself. And I understand that, Brooke. Believe me, I do. But why do you have to break all of your ties, darling? Uh, besides, you've got a wonderful job waiting for you. Aunt Phoebe, I'm sure I can find a job here. I'm going to set up a couple of interviews in a day or two. Brooke, do you realize what you're letting yourself in for? A new job, a new apartment, a new baby, and all in a strange town. Look, I'm not fooling myself that it is going to be easy, but I have made up my mind. <sighs> Hello. Brooke, hi, it's Donna. Oh, Donna. What can I do for you? Well, I, I'm looking for Mrs. Wallingford. Mrs. Valentine said she w left for King's Cross early today, so... Yeah, she's right here. Lisa, I do want to talk to her, but, um... First, let me congratulate you on the baby. Tom says she's just beautiful. Thank you. Um, here, uh, here's that baby. How dare you call me here, you little hussy! And I suppose you're calling from Brooks' home. You have no decency, no shame whatsoever. It's your fault that Brooke's not going back to Pine Valley. Baby, stop it. It's all because of you. She is giving up everything that she's ever loved because she cannot stand the thought of the sight of you and that husband of hers consorting in public in full view of the whole world. <laughs> 